Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zon Ta of Reaper Products. This screencast will showcase Autodesk Navisworks Manage and working with materials and the rendering aspects of the software. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zon Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Navisworks Manage 2017. I have a Navisworks file opened up. <clears throat> this Navisworks file came from a Revit model. And if we want to start working with materials, we can head over to the Render tab of the Revit System panel and click Autodesk Rendering. When you do this, the Autodesk Rendering window will open up. You can pin it down if you need to so that you can see the data. <clears throat> we can massage the sizes of these panels, by the way. And what you're going to see is the upper left quadrant is the materials that are currently in your current Revit, uh, current Navisworks file. The lower quadrant is the material library that comes shipped with the software. There are two libraries that come shipped with the software by default, and they are locked so that you can't mess them up. <clears throat> One is the Autodesk library, and the other is the Autodesk Advanced library. The difference between the two is that the Autodesk library has just materials that are built upon uh, usage for the AEC industry. Whereas the Autodesk Advanced Library gets into materials attuned more to like 3ds Max and uh, Mudbox and mode, uh, different types of ways to really, really manipulate that particular material. So when we browse the Autodesk Material Library by hitting this little white arrow, you'll see all the materials that come with that particular library. So for example, Fabric, or flooring or glass. If you click the other one, Autodesk Advanced Library, you get into other types of materials like metal, iron, lead, nickel. Okay. How do we work with the materials that are in our particular file to begin with? Well, first of all, the data that you're looking at in the Navisworks model is going to be dependent upon the content that it's coming from. Remember, Navisworks is an aggregation tool, a model aggregation tool. It's not meant for you to use to create content. It's used for you to manipulate and understand the content. <clears throat> like I said earlier, this model is coming from a Revit file. So the materials that are in the Revit model are actually pushing through into this Navisworks file. Uh, luckily, all the Autodesk materials and the Autodesk material library is standardized across all the Autodesk software. So the material libraries in Revit, for example, are going to be the same as the materials that are in the Navisworks software or AutoCAD for example. If I take a look at an object, say for example this element right here, it's saying it's a basic roof. We can do basic things such as obviously saving the selection, calling it roof, so we can use it down the line a little easier. <clears throat> but if you do select that object, you'll look under properties and there are different types of tabs that you can look into. And you can see for example the general materials tab gives you basic information. You have the Revit Material tab that describes the Revit material that was used to build the object and how that data is coming across. You have the Autodesk material as well, and then Element ID and so on and so forth. If you want to take this object and change its material from whatever the current material is to something else, you can head over here to the Autodesk Rendering Material Library box and look for a material that you want to work with that's in your current project. That's this box. If there is a material that you don't have that you want to use, you can head over to one of the libraries. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and look at, say, for example, stone. And let's look at marble. So there's a few. This marble is really, think of this as a container bucket. And inside, there are asset definitions that help define what that marble bucket container is, which you can then take and transfer over into your current Navisworks project. So for example, rows, I'll double click it, and I can get into <clears throat> the material editor dialog box that defines and helps you understand the metadata of that actual material bucket, if you will. So this is what it looks like if it's in a uh, different ways to look at it, sphere, cube, cylinder, so on and so forth. The image that's associated to it, you can set up uh, bump, 
for the finished and tint as well. And if you want to, you can expand any one of these windows <clears throat> to get in a little deeper into the material. If I want to take this rose material and use it in the current project, I can select it and hit this little arrowhead here, and it will add it to that particular doc, uh, to this particular file. Now to take this material and physically assign it to this object, all I have to do is right click and say assign to selection. Now that I've done that, you can see the material is being applied to that object. If you want to apply materials to a bunch of things at one time, <clears throat> easiest way is to look at using sets to help you out. So I can select this particular column. I head over to uh, set, same type, and I can save that set as columns. Now that I've done this, <clears throat> I can go over to another material. Let's pick uh, Macer. Well, now let's look at metals. Let's look at steel and say we want honed. So we'll put honed up here. We'll right click. <clears throat> and since you can see some commands that are grayed out, and they're grayed out because these are only uh, context based. In other words, the objects have to be selected first. Um, now, since we already created that selection set of columns, I can just click it and it's selected. Now I can right click that particular material. <clears throat> And let's see, here's the honed. And I say assign to selection. Now you can see, if we zoom in, that material is being used on those columns. So that's the typical process of going through and adjusting the materials <clears throat> that you want for all the objects. So again, you can select objects or select this. You can hold the control key down to select more than one object at one time. And then again, um, heading over to the material that you want to work with and making sure that it is in your current project and then right clicking and assigning to the selection so you can see what's happening there. So that's how you work with materials as a default in Autodesk Navisworks Manage 2017. Uh, we'll look at rendering aspect a little later in another video. Thank you very much for watching.